you can spot me in the city building lobby with a sword on shot. He's screaming, drop it, this is Bobby. With my feet shackled and my head on the cloud. With my arm free, I gotta be God. <laughs> Sugar Ray Leonard versus Floyd Mayweather. I mean, this is it, man. It's almost like generation versus generation because I know anybody, anybody that's over 40 years old is going to say Sugar Ray Leonard hands down. I mean, it's one of those generation type things, especially if you're, if, if you're in your 20s, you're going to say Floyd Mayweather because he's probably the best thing you've seen. Man, this is one of those big divides, man. We're going to have to break it down. We're going to have to really talk about this. I would like for you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh... Uh, all of my subscribers so far, we they already know that uh, I discuss stuff like this every day. Ah, shoot, let's 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 do it like this. Sugar Ray Leonard fought guys like Roberto Duran, Tommy Hearns. This is the who's who Hagler and defeated them all. Wilfred Benitez he took them all on. Okay, then you have Floyd Mayweather. He took them all on. Sugar Shane Mosley, Oscar De La Hoya, Canelo, Corrales. They both really cleared out their generation. During Sugar Ray Leonard's day, fighters were busier. And I mean in the ring. They were busier with their hands. The point system was different. I judged, uh, for example, I judged um, Ali versus Joe Frazier, the first fight. And I gave it to Ali based on how we judge fights now. If Floyd Mayweather fought then with Sugar Ray Leonard, his output would be different. So it's hard. It's hard because you, you, you got to take out the culture and just take what they bring to the table and try to imagine how they would take on each other. They both went to the Olympics. Um, Floyd Mayweather was cheated and Sugar Ray Leonard, he won the gold. Both of them are just They've always been the best. Integrity. They both were dragons. They both were animals in the ring. They both had lion heart. Sugar Ray Leonard, who was getting outboxed by Tommy Hearns and decided to slug with him for Christ's sake. He showed what he could have done to Duran in the second fight. No mas. But in the first fight, he decided to slug with him. And it went a split decision. Sugar Ray Leonard banging and brawling with Duran. That's the type of heart he has. And he did that because he was emotionally compromised. He could have whooped Duran as easy as he swept him the second fight. Floyd Mayweather, he's barely a 147 pound fighter, really. Uh, the guy is a small guy, but he will still fight at 154 and weigh in on the scale at like 150, 151 and probably lose weight on night of the fight. He took on Oscar De La Hoya at 154, he took on Cotto at 154, he caught Canelo at some catch weight, and you see Canelo fighting at middleweight right now, and that was a young Canelo with an aging Floyd Mayweather. These guys, these guys are the epitome of heart hard work, integrity, physical ability, knowing the game, this is a matchup for the ages. The only way I can approach this matchup, the only way I can approach this fight is bringing up two fights in particular. Sugar Ray Leonard against somebody who resembles Floyd Mayweather. You gotta go with Floyd Mayweather Sr. In that fight, in the beginning of that fight, Sugar Ray Leonard had issues. One thing about groomed fighters, I speak of, speak of men like Bonzel Johnson and Greg Covers. They're shrewd. They know how to fight. Grooms teaches them well. Note that quick flicking left to Mayweather. Quick-handed fighter. Watch that fight. Watch that fight. Floyd Mayweather Sr. was handling Sugar Ray Leonard. So you can only imagine that Sugar Ray Leonard isn't going to have control of Floyd Mayweather at the opening bell. Floyd Mayweather, with his defense and Sugar Ray Leonard's flurries, Sugar, Sugar isn't going to be landing everything that he can land. Floyd, at the same time, he's going to be in a position where he could counter and punch. Dude, this is... This is a beautiful fight because they're going to match each other speed wise. The thing about Sugar Ray Leonard that makes him a little bit better when it comes to speed is his second, third and fourth punches. 
um, are faster than Floyd Mayweather's. I gotta refill my cup of coffee. As far as Floyd Mayweather, I gotta look at the Zab Judah fight. That was somebody who could match him athletically, who could match his speed, okay? And also give some power that can frustrate Floyd Mayweather. If you look at the beginning of that fight. They both weigh eight ounces. They look Big left hand over the top by Judah. He believes he's got no other hurt. Crowd is going wild. Floyd Mayweather was outmatched. Let's say Zab could have uh, kept that pace. Let's say he had the champion heart of Sugar Ray Leonard. That outcome would have been different. Not saying that Floyd Mayweather wouldn't have adjusted to that. I'm just saying that outcome would have been different. Yeah, that fight would have been definitely closer. I say they both meet. I say uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. I say Floyd Mayweather is getting off better than Sugar Ray Leonard at the beginning. But... His tiger heart, his lion heart, his champion heart on top of his talent and his skill and his footwork. He adapts once Sugar Ray Leonard adapts, okay, with the ability he has. Floyd Mayweather would definitely be having trouble with Sugar Ray Leonard after Sugar Ray Leonard adapts. Guess what? I think Floyd Mayweather adapts after that. Floyd Mayweather doesn't pack the power to knock Sugar Ray Leonard out. Have you ever seen Sugar Ray Leonard knocked out in his prime? No. No, this is going the distance. If I were to, to choose who win this fight, and it's not easy, it's not easy. I'm going to give the victory to Sugar Ray Leonard just due to output alone. But that's another thing I want to add. Sugar Ray Leonard is naturally bigger than Floyd Mayweather, too. Because Sugar Ray Leonard campaigned at middleweight and did a heck of a job. Floyd Mayweather wouldn't be able to do anything at middleweight. He keeps Floyd Mayweather on the defense longer than he needs to be in order to win the fight. That's the point. It can go 15. It can go 12. However you want it. I'm going to give the fight to Sugar Ray Leonard just from output. Sugar Ray Leonard is just bigger and the way he fought. With his skill set allows him to land more punches, not at a higher percentage, but total. If you think Floyd Mayweather wins the fight, comment down below. Make that argument. I'll respond to you if you make a good enough argument. Hey, look, hey, I may have to make a, a part two to this. So if you like the video, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to go a, 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 with my boy Sugar Ray Leonard, man. Show biz the adult. I'm out. Everybody put your hands up. Tell your mom to put her hands up.